Do you still consider yourself a beginner with AI and are wondering how to use these tools in the real world? Well, guys, you're not alone. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you on a very basic level how you can use AI to create content, both short form and long form. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission here is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And yes, it is very overwhelming, which is why I'm making these AI for beginner videos. So if you have any questions on this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But now let's explore how you can use AI to create content. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using ChatGPT since that's what most AI beginners are still using. I am on the Plus version. I would recommend investing $20 a month in ChatGPT Plus if you don't have it. It's not required for this tutorial, but I would recommend doing that. You can also use Claude. Claude and ChatGPT are the top two AI tools that I would recommend for this tutorial on how to use AI for content creation. So in this first example, I'm going to keep things extremely basic. And if you're already using AI or ChatGPT to create content, I would recommend skipping ahead to one of my more advanced examples in this video. But if you are brand new to creating content with AI, you can use a prompt that reads the following. And this is for creating short form content. So short form content, meaning social media posts on any platform, whether it's any titles, press releases, uh, short stories, emails, short blog posts, right? Any short form content content variation like that, you can use AI to help you. And what you can do is use a prompt like this. And I'll be sure to leave every prompt that I mention in the video description below. You are an expert in copywriting social media and short form content. Very important that you add that persona at the beginning is when I do AI consultations with businesses, I see all the time people will prompt something like generate me a blog post, create an email, create a social media post, and they won't establish any persona at the beginning. A very important step. Generate three social media posts for each major platform on the topic of, and I'm just going to do a random topic in this example, how to create quality content with AI. Now you can replace this for whatever topic or industry that you want to create content for. Use a maximum of 300 characters. Make the posts engaging, unique, while ensuring they're easy to understand. Don't include hashtags or emojis. Not best practice, in my opinion. Make the responses sound realistic. I'm also going to add one more thing here. I'm going to say also use uh, best practices for each specific platform to gain the most organic reach. A little more technical term at the end there. Uh, but what this is going to do is it's going to now generate all of these short form responses for each social media platform like I like I designated it to. So it says here are three tailored posts for each platform based on my topic of how to create quality content with AI. So we have LinkedIn, we have three responses here, Twitter or X, we have three different responses here. Facebook, right? Now I would never recommend just going in here and copying and pasting this to your social media accounts and click publish. I would make sure to reread these, fine tune them, maybe add, misplace some words here and there, right? Never come in here and just copy and paste something and then post it. That is a cardinal sin of using AI. And so here it says AI can supercharge your content strategy, use tools, uh, yada, 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 combine AI. So you guys can read these if you want. I'm not going to read through all these, but that is like a very, very basic example of how you can use AI to create short form copy. So now I'm going to show you a little more advanced example. And in this example, I'm going to be using what's called a custom GPT, as you see right here. And if you're using Claude, this is called a Claude project. These are personalized versions of the AI tool to get your more desired outputs that sound like you, that mimic your writing style, your tone. You can set all sorts of parameters in the instructions. And this is just a much better way to get higher quality outputs. So I have a whole tutorial explaining how I built this. I'll leave that in the video description below. But let's use the same example here. Let's say I want to write a LinkedIn post, but yet in my writing style, in my tone, and not just shotgunning it to Chad GPT like I did in the first example. And so here it says, great, please go ahead and provide the topic for the LinkedIn post. So I'm going to do the same topic as I did before. How to uh, create high quality content with AI. And then I'm going to click enter. And you'll see here I set more parameters in this prompt. And you'll notice right away what this output is producing. So right on top, we have what's called a hook. And I don't know why my screen just zoomed in there. I apologize about that. Uh, but right here, we have what's called the hook. How to create high quality content with AI. I'm not sure I like the emojis. So I can always come in here and say, remove emojis, remove hashtags, whatever other adjustments that you want to make. 
Uh, so did you know that 65% of marketers say AI helps them produce quality content faster? It gives you like a listicle approach here. It gives you a pro tip, uh, some hashtags. You don't have to include these if you don't want. But regardless, notice this post and compare it to what I got in my first prompt that I did for LinkedIn posts. Notice how much more better and optimized that is for the LinkedIn platform. So that is the benefit of using a custom GPT to create short form content. And the best part is we can repurpose this into other variations of short form content. So I can say something like now uh, create X slash Twitter posts. Let's just do one post now create a x slash twitter post on this same topic but use best practices uh, for that platform and let's see what it comes up with here and you could do the same for facebook you could do the same for an instagram caption a youtube description right whatever other way you want to repurpose this so does want to create high quality content faster ai can help here's how notice how this is much shorter uh, i don't necessarily like the emojis uses hashtags, but regardless, this is much shorter, better optimized for X or Twitter. You can also repurpose this into an email newsletter if you want to do that, right? Great. Now repurpose this into an email newsletter for my subscribers, but use a catchy subject line uh, to increase my open rate. And then again, you can repurpose this into an email newsletter. Subject line, unlock the secret to high quality content with AI. And I don't know why my screen keeps doing that. I apologize. Uh, but regardless here, it says unlock the secret to high quality content with AI fast and easy. That's a very catchy subject line. And then here's the email newsletter. So again, it's very short. You can always come down here and tweak it. Maybe say, I want five things on how to write higher quality content, or I only want three things or two things, or you know, don't use emojis, or maybe add this idea, exclude that idea, and continuing to fine tune this. But you guys, I, I hope you're starting to understand what I'm saying here is that you can use a custom GPT or a Claude project as a more advanced way to generate short form content using AI. Now on the topic of long form content creation with AI, there's a few different ways you can do this. If you do not have Chad GPT plus and can't access custom GPTs, honestly guys, I would recommend using this prompt that I have right here in front of you and I'll leave this in the video description below. Uh, this is a really good starting point if you do not have access to these custom GPTs. But let's say we do have access to this. I'm gonna go back to my Ryan Dozer AI agent. I have a conversation starter here to help me write an SEO optimized blog post. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the topic. I'm gonna to say, uh, let's see, topic. Five best AI tools for marketing. I'm just coming up with something off the top of my head. And then what I'm going to do is paste the rest of this prompt here. So I'm gonna say, in the blog post, please follow the provided guidelines. And then I have all these different guidelines here that will pair with whatever other guidelines I have in my custom GPT. So I'm gonna hit enter here. And now this is gonna generate an SEO title, a meta description, and an SEO optimized blog post based on the settings and instructions that I gave it here and on the custom GPT instructions. So I'm gonna skip ahead after this output is complete. All right, so here's the output that I got for long form content using my custom GPT for this blog post. And right away, I do like the format of this. Now, this is not a silver bullet. I would recommend not copying and pasting this entire blog post and just publishing it on your website and think that that's gonna move the needle because it won't. But this, this should give you a good first draft or a good outline for a long form article. Now, this is gonna be a little more advanced, but what you can also do, for instance, is say, now browse the internet for the keyword, best AI tools for marketing, but don't link any of the sources. And what you can also do to make it sound more natural is you can add internal links actually using ChatGPT. And I have a whole separate video. I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description whenever I get done creating that. But what you can also do here, and this is a more advanced tactic, is you can create or you can find, let's see here, you can find all of your URLs of your website, and I got this through what's called an XML sitemap, and you can come down here and you can say, also add three to five internal links in this article and spread them out naturally throughout the uh, content. And I'm gonna say, here are the internal links on my website. 
I'm going to paste all those internal links and I'm going to click enter. Now this does see a little, seem a little convoluted, I know, but this is how you get the highest quality outputs possible using ChatGPT for long form content. So I noticed it added my internal links here as I directed it. There's one right there, another there. Uh, one right there. And so that's just a really cool feature that you can do inside ChatGPT to just create as high quality outputs as possible for long form content generation. Now you can also come down here and say, actually, I want external links as well for each tool that you mentioned. Now there's all sorts of other advanced strategies that you can do with this. And I won't get into that in this video, but long story short, that is a more advanced way of how you can generate long form content using AI. Now, another way you could use AI to write long form content is through AI writing tools. But I'm going to be honest, guys, I made an entire video talking about why you shouldn't pay for AI writing tools and you should just use a custom GPT or a Claude project instead. Long story short, most of these are white labeled versions of Chat GPT and Claude in the first place that cost more but they are very user friendly and catered towards beginners of AI who don't really understand how to prompt ChatGPT, GPT, use custom GPTs, dive into cloud projects. So if I had to pick one AI writing tool catered for beginners, it would be SEO writing AI. I do have a tutorial on my channel. I actually need to make a more updated one. This tool's actually went through a lot of updates recently, which is one of the reasons why I recommend it if I had to pick one. Uh, you'll see here they had a, a better one for internal linking. They have all sorts of research stuff they can do with perplexity now. Uh, but what you can do with SEO writing AI is you can do bulk article generation. That's a huge benefit. You can also do one-click blog posts. I believe this costs uh, 15 to $20 a month, something like that. Um, but you can come down in here and you can add all of these different models. So it has Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT 4.0, other versions or other GPT models or Claude models. You can add specific instructions, give it a point of view, a tone, article length. Uh, you can come in here and add images if you want, YouTube videos, target keywords. You can dictate structure, do all these other parameters you can set, add internal links, external links, uh, connect to web, content syndication. This is a new one. Uh, outline editor. You can also publish it directly to your WordPress site, WordPress site, excuse me, through a plugin that they have available. So long story short, the reason why I'm explaining this is that if you think this is confusing to go through a custom GPT or a Claude project, I would recommend looking into a tool like SEO writing AI. I do have a special link in the description you can find for a discount, I believe. Uh, so I, do, I think they have a free trial as well. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But this is just something if you guys are more beginners in AI and are looking to write SEO optimized long form articles uh, with all these different parameters that are set, I would recommend looking into SEO writing AI. I would not recommend looking into the millions of other AI writing tools out there that exist. I do think SEO writing AI probably is the best one out there right now. But again, if you do understand custom GPTs and Claude projects, I would just stick to those. So that's enough rambling. I appreciate you if you've made it this far in the video, and I hope this tutorial helped you out on how you can use AI to help write long form and short form content in higher quality output. So again, this is Ryan. If you have any thoughts on this topic, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But most importantly, guys, I hope you all have a great day.